Welcome to Newsmakers. My name is Sean Smith. I'm the Assistant Director of Community Relations for Chesterfield County Public Schools. Join us today, Dr. Robin Yeo and Michael Gettings. Welcome to you both. Thank you for being here. Uh, for our viewers out there, uh, uh, Robin, you are the Instructional Specialist for Performing Arts, and, and Michael, you're the Instructional Specialist for Visual Arts. Um, and we really want to talk in this segment about the upcoming Fine Arts Festival in the county. Uh, Robin, tell us about that and also tell us about where, where the site will be this year and what's new. Well, we're really excited. The event's going to take place April the 5th and 6th, and this year the site is going to be located at Matoica High School. And we're really excited to be down that way. They have never hosted a big event like this before, um, and uh, the community is is really excited and the feeder schools are, are really just eager to come be a part of the event. And obviously for Matoka, there's some significance to what's occurring down in that community. Talk a little about the significance of that. Well, um, this year is Matoka's 50th anniversary. And so um, they are also going to be um, celebrating, well, they have been celebrating all year, but right. they're gonna continue to celebrate with what they call their Warrior Weekend. And so we've combined the two events into one. So the Fine Arts Festival will be going on at the same time as the Warrior Weekend will be happening. And what does that mean? Well, the Warrior Weekend is a service learning kind of community event, and there'll be bouncy houses and lots of interactive, um, fun events for students and children to participate in. And the students at Matoka High School will be actually um, running those events. And then alongside with that, we'll have lots of performances um, of different schools that will be coming in. We have our, also have our all-county middle school band, our all-county guitar, our all-county world percussion group, our two honors choirs from our elementary schools. And then on Sunday, which is really neat, is we have our Richmond Youth Symphony Orchestra that's coming over to play um, with our students that are involved in Chesterfield, but also the other surrounding counties. And the director of that group is Becky Jilcott, and she is one of our teachers, and she teaches right over at Matoka Middle School. That sounds great. And, and Michael, talk a little about some of the different visual arts perspectives that are gonna be covered that weekend. Well, we're gonna have artwork from every school in the county that represents elementary, middle, and high school. We'll have two and 3D work, some, uh, also some performance art, as well as some videos and things that other students have created you know, uh, with the new media that's coming out as well. It's gonna be a real visual treat for everybody. And talk about some of, the, like you mentioned, some of the new media and what has changed over the years that's gonna be showcased as well. Well, with our digital design classes, some of our teachers are using um, animation programs and 3D modeling programs, and they're going to be highlighting those either through projection or on a video screen as the show is going on, in addition to our traditional media. And Robin, obviously, one of the things that people always ask, it's a great showcase, but how in the world do you decide what is showcase with so much student talent across the county? It, wow, that's a good question. <laughs> um, we just ask who would like to be a participant, number one, if we have small ensembles, but we have a lot of large ensembles, which includes children from all schools in Chesterfield County, which is really, really neat. Um, we have one new component this year that um, I will not be forgiven if I don't mention. Um, we are having the first ever middle school drama festival, and um, we have seven of our middle schools that um, actually instruct drama um, on a daily basis and they're coming together to be a part of the festival and then we have several of our high school drama teachers who are actually going to give them some feedback and kind of critique and so we're really excited about that and they're going to be doing that in the forum at Matoka High School. And Michael we're almost out of time but obviously with this festival we know our, our kids are going to be there performing we know the families are going to be there supporting them but also it's a chance for the community to come in and to be engaged talk about the importance of that well it, what robin had talked about this earlier about the matoka community really coming together and we really wanted to bring the spotlight out to this area of the county because it's so rich and diverse and then of course you bring everybody from the county together and it's really a fun family atmosphere with a lot of creative effort and it really puts the county on display. Well, thank you so much for being here. We wish uh, obviously a wonderful, again, each year is, but a wonderful fine arts festival. And thanks thank to you. our viewers. Please join us next time. Learn about Chesterfield County Public Schools.